Hey everybody, uh, Glenn Trayer here, Mountain Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. Thought I'd shoot a video here today as out on a little bit of a trek, me and my pooch, and uh, just out enjoying, uh, enjoying nature a little bit. And thought I'd shoot this video uh, here of how to start a fire. Um, I'm going to use a ferro rod, um, but I'm going to do this video. I know there's a gazillion videos out there on how to start fires, and I mean, everybody that's about making videos on bushcraft and survival and stuff shows you how to make fires, so I'm not trying to harp on something that's old, but it's very important. Um, but I wanted to show you something that uh, places to look for some dry tinder if it's wet. Um, here in uh, northern Idaho it's been uh, raining. Well it snowed for a while and then it rained and then it snowed and we got a little bit of snow this morning. Um, so things are pretty well soaked. I mean I'll show you here in a minute um, how how soaked things really are but I'm gonna show you a place to get some dry tinder and that I'm gonna drop my bags here and my gun and uh, after I do that I'll I'll show you more on where to find some dry tinder at least here here in uh, the north northwest you know where there's a lot of uh, pine trees and such um, back east you know you can find the same stuff uh, this might be a little harder to find, but you can do the same thing. So, show you here quick. Um, sorry about the shaking, but uh, show you here. Hopefully, you can see it. I don't know if I can. You can see there on that tree all the water on those. I mean, there you can see it just fell off. So, you can tell how wet, you know how wet it is right now so alright well I'm gonna drop my stuff here and we'll be right back with you alright guys so I already got my uh, my fine uh, twigs and <clears throat> that all gathered up I didn't want to bore you with that um, there's a lot of good information out there on how to do that and I'll I'll show you a little bit how I do it but um, there's like I said there's a lot of good information out there from uh, you know all kinds of guys uh, you know Dave Canterbury uh, Jamie Burley um, Sarge Ferrier sorry Sarge if I butchered your name um, Snow Walker um, Critter um, you know, there's there's a bunch of good guys, and I know those guys are all kind of related in one way or another, but um, they do have a lot of good information. Um, but uh, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, you know that that type of information on gathering the twigs and stuff. But what I am going to do is show you some really good uh, things that you can use here to get your fire going. Um, especially as wet as it is and without uh, any char or fire cubes or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to turn around here and try and get this camera set up here for you. Um, but uh, this is what you're looking for. These trees that have uh, woodpecker holes in them. Those real old trees, I mean, that one's broke off at the top. But uh, in those holes, fellas, is some very dry tinder. And uh, I'm going to get this set up, and I'll, uh, I'll get right back with you. Okay, so this is what you're after. Um, this stuff right here, um, all them finds. Here's some real nice stuff right there. And again, you want to keep in mind uh, which side of the tree this is on and uh, you know where the sun is going to hit, hit the tree and um, 
kind of uh, where the best uh, best side of the tree to get this stuff is from is. Um, but uh, I'm going to get things um, set up here, get this camera back here and get it set in here so you can kind of see how I do this. Um, sorry about this, I got to fasten the camera to my pod here. So, okay, there we go. Now, what I do is I like to take a piece of bark or something uh, like that and take it. Like, here's another good spot. You just might have seen a bunch of this stuff fall. All the bugs have chewed a lot of real fine material in there, and that stuff is dry. I mean, that stuff is bone dry. Um, but what I'll do is I'll take a see if I can get a little piece of better piece of bark here but I'll take and I'll take my knife and I'll get in these holes places like here I mean that you can see how soft that is I can just take that and uh, stick my knife right in there that's the stuff you want to get that stuff right there I'll pull that off man that's good good stuff right there real good stuff you can't ask for much better than that and I like to get a lot of the fine stuff too not just the, the coarser stuff so I'll take the stuff with the fine shavings and I'll uh, gather gather a lot of this stuff up and you can see there all that good rotten material and you can also make um, char you can make char out of this stuff so you know if you don't have char or something you can make your char out of this like punk wood or whatever you want to call it um, these woodpecker holes and this real chewed up rotten wood here that's really dry um, but I get try and get a whole try and get a whole pile of this stuff, and I'll uh, I got that. That's probably about what I'll use, and uh, I'll show you something else here. Um, I'm gonna head over through to my my site, and I'll show you um, where I where I'm gonna set up my camp, and I'll show you something else that uh, works very well too. Um, I guess I could show you one thing here um, while I'm here, if it's dry. Um, if you can see it back here hanging, I'll try and zoom in for you. Um, now, you don't have necessarily have this back east, but right in there, there's uh, old man's beard or lichen. Um, that stuff, if that's dry, that makes really good fire tinder too. At least uh, in the in the west here. So I'm gonna head over to the camp, and we'll uh, I'll show you another really really good thing that I've found that works really good for getting your fire started. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. Um, so right right here is where I'm gonna set up my fire lay and have my fire and everything. But this is what I wanted to show you. These dead pine nettles right here. These are dead. Obviously, you can see the difference between these and these. These, I just take these and I strip these right off the, the limbs. And those there are incredible. I mean, just incredible. And they can be damp, wet, um, preferably not soaking wet, but they'll work. Um, I'll gather up a big old handful of them. And I'll show you what I do with them here in a here in a moment. But those things right there, those dead pine nettles, work awesome. Really, really, really good. So I'll be right back with you as soon as I get all, get these gathered up. All right. So hopefully you can see all this. What I what I like to do first is I'll find me a piece of bark, a nice piece of bark like this one. And uh, 
I'll take and hopefully you can see this. I'll uh, put my pine nettles on the base right there like that. And then um, what I'll do after that is I'll take my my uh, whatever my rotten wood or my uh, stuff we got out of the woodpecker holes and I'll put that down a lot of that down on there and what that'll do if you catch that stuff on fire if you catch that on fire there that will hold an ember a really long time I mean that that will hold a really really long time so I'll show you here I've put my pieces on top I hope you can see that okay on top of my um, uh, pine nettles so what I'm gonna do is I'll take and I'll just take my ferro rod and I'll just take that and I was taking okay right there we got it smoldering already come up here and show you trying not to bounce this camera around but there you can see How that stuff will just smolder. And they'll just keep catching other parts of that on. And I just breathe, you know, blow on that. And I take my fine, my fine twigs, um, my real fine, fine twigs. You always want to start with. Real fine twigs. Always start with your, your fire lays and stuff with fine, fine twigs. That's what you want to catch. And then we just blow it to life. And it might take a little bit longer with this type of stuff versus, you know, like char cloth or something, but. Like I said, these twigs are really, really wet. So, it's going to take a little bit to dry them out. Long, steady blows. Now, we'll take it, set this whole thing down. Watch out, pup. Watch out, Rambo. And we'll start putting some more stuff, just laying it right on, on top there. Now this stuff is all wet, so it's got to dry out. It's going to really smoke on you. I'm 
and being it's really wet, you might have to, you know, cater to it a little bit more than normal. You put, you're standing on my wood, buddy. Yeah, you're standing on my wood. And I just throw it, throw it on there. You know, like Dave said, fire likes uh, chaos, so. There you go. So, I better check this camera. This thing shuts off on me in 10 minutes, so I better make sure where we're at. But, uh, so, I hopefully you, uh, you got something out of this. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to repeat or, you know, beat a dead horse. But, uh, you know, I mean, it, this... Things work differently all across the world, all across the U.S., you know, all over the place. Things work different. So this is just something that works real good for me here. Um, you know, ferro rod, uh, you know, I, I didn't have no char, no nothing like that. And you can see, uh, hopefully you saw all good, how, uh, how this all worked and how everything went. But uh, I'm going to... Take the time here to relax a little bit. Um, I apologize, I haven't had much time to make videos and that, um, but I've just been really busy. And uh, I'm gonna have some spruce nettle tea and just kind of kick back and relax. So maybe I'll uh, jump back on here a little bit later. I don't know, but if not, um, till next time. Take care, guys. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. All right, guys. So, we got a good old fire going there. Got our nettle tea going, and uh, thought I'd show you something here quick. Maybe a little tip or trick that maybe you could use um, or whatever. But uh, show you here, bottom of my haversack. That's a haversack I made out of a some brain tanned uh, elk hide that I had brain tanned a while back. But anyways. Um, here on the bottom, um, this here, I keep my, uh, my, uh, uh, flannel in there. I keep some other small stuff in my reusable space blanket in there. Um, I have my squirrel roaster in there. But on the outside here is a piece of neoprene off of a pair of old, uh, chest waders. Um, I cut a section out of that, and that works really nice to, uh, if you're coming out in the woods and this ground's wet, you know, take that and put that down. You can sit on it and keep your butt dry and um, just a little, you know, don't weigh nothing, you know. So I just thought I'd uh, show you that there quick and uh, maybe uh, somebody can add that to their pack. So, all right, guys, we'll take care and God bless you.